All right, Magic 107.3. We have the African king of comedy. He came to the radio station. Welcome, Michael. Thank Michael you for Jackson's having me. in the house. Woo! I'm in the house. That's right. So welcome to our radio. So welcome to Kansas City. I love Kansas City. I was City, telling man. you that I've never seen one of your shows, so I'm very excited to see you at the Improv. He's here all week. That's right, all week. Two shows tonight, two tomorrow, one on Sunday. Get your tickets now. It's going to be the best comedy show of your life. The best comedy show of your life, so I can't wait. So congratulations on your new show. Oh, Living With Funny. Living you saw, did with you, Funny. Did you watch it? I watched it yesterday. I DVR'd it because I wasn't <laughs> able to watch it on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Tuesday's at 7. 8 o'clock. Eight. Tuesdays at 8 o'clock on Oxygen. Yes. Make sure you tune in for that. Live with funny. Um, it's you, D. Ray Davis. Brandon T. Jackson. Brandon T. Jackson. Yes. And I don't know the two other white yeah, guys. Yeah, I don't know them either. You don't know them. <laughs> So they just came to you with it. I thought it was like one of you guys that put the show together. Well, it was Brandon's, partially Brandon T. Jackson's idea. He knew okay. the producer. And they got together and brought this together. And I was so nervous about it because it's a reality sitcom. So do you want... We can't act. We should be ourselves. It was really so, weird. So, okay, so I thought it was just a reality show. So it's a it's a reality sitcom, meaning like, so they're scripted. They're, and the thing about it, they're not scripted. It's pretty much the things that are happening are things that are happening or is happening. We just pretty much just brought it back to life. Okay. You know, um, I mean, reality, it's got to be something there that we have to, you have to, there's no way cameras gonna follow you. Things that's gonna happen as it is. So some things we had to bring back to life. Okay. You know, but it's the thing about it is reality because it's our real girlfriends, our real kids. Mm -hmm. You know, these are no actors, no nothing. Everybody that's in the show are really part of our lives. You know, but at the same time, you know, we have to put some stories together exactly. and bring them to life. Because I was gonna ask you um, that portion about when your son, uh, she, uh, Georgia, found the condoms right. in your My son's son. uh, room. So that actually happened. That just happened. We just we just pretty much brought it back to life. Okay, so let me tell you, I have a foreign mother, and if that would have happened to me, she would have found that you were very nice to your son. You know, I it would have been World War Two in my house. Been, I could imagine, but you know, because it's a boy. Okay. You know, it's different so it's if it's okay your daughter. it's okay for the boys to do that, but not it's if okay. you had the little girl, it would have gone down. I don't know what deal with that. I was going to find who that guy is and somebody, something, I was going to catch a case. <laughs> Put it that way, you know. But I was glad, at least it was a magnum. He, he's he's going to be okay. You know, he's going to have no problems. You know, the Mutombo runs in the family. Oh, man. <laughs> well, okay. So good for um little Mike. But yeah, so this week, in fact, the new episodes get very interesting. You don't want to miss it. Living with fun and oxygen. It's very great. You know, you enjoyed it? I enjoyed it. So how is, well, you said it's a reality scripted show, but how is now with you and your girlfriend on TV, does mm -hmm. that affect your relationship any? Or is it just the same? Uh, like how you know, long were you guys together before <laughs> you like, brought we, TVs into your relationship? It was uh, a year. A year? Okay. A year together, you know. So it's kind of interesting because the TV thing kind of like, it, I think it helps a couple stay together. Really? <laughs> yeah. Because we've seen reality show <clears throat> break some families apart, relationships it, apart. Because the thing, I mean, you could shoot a show and the show start airing three months later, you know, and you don't want to look stupid. You can't, you know, yeah. this is, you shot the show, y'all together, oh, lovey dovey, and then you can't go breaking up because now you're in the streets. I know. And they're like, oh, we just saw your show with your girl. So it kind of like make you guys kind of work it out and let it, that way this show could look more real. Okay, so when did you guys film the show? Was it a few uh, months ago, or has it been there? No, for no, a no. While? It's a few months. Um, we started shooting. Was this? This is April. Yes. We started shooting end of last year. All we still shoot until now. Okay. We start. I still have to shoot some more stuff when I get back. Okay. We do this seven episodes. So, um, depending on how well it does, and we'll continue. Okay. So, so far, it's so good. I feel like it's a roasting session when you guys all get together because I remember Brandon's girlfriend. She was like, "I cringe when all mm -hmm. the comedians get together." So it's like that in real life. Oh, I, was like in real life. I was looking at your Twitter the other day, and you and D Ray were going back and forth. Oh yeah, man. You know, and comedian. That's how we show love to each other by not showing love. <laughs> we hate, but we show love by hate. Yeah, you know, so it's all good when we roast each other. Just all in love, and it shows you the respect you have. If I roast the hell out of D Ray. He would know better than trying to come back at me again, cause he know he, he, you know. What I mean, it's like, it's like the Super Bowl. You don't want to play a certain team, cause you know what the team does to you. Exactly. You know? So it's all good. It's but all has love. Has there ever been a time where you started roasting someone that's gotten out of hand? 
Uh, Those are just the people that can't take the Well, joke. there's a stage, whatever. Yeah, it has. I remember when I first started doing comedy, I, it was back in the day when Dennis Rodman was hot, and I knew he had that little blonde hair in the middle. Yeah. And it was a girl in the crowd, and she had a little blonde hair in the middle, <laughs> and I called her Denise Rodman. And she didn't like it. She poured her drink on me. Oh, you know? no. So it could get, you know, but I'm... And I, it was in my younger days, so now I'm more mature. I know how to ha- deal with stuff. Mm-hmm. I could roast you and make you feel good at the same time. Okay. I, you know, I would roast you enough roast that marshmallow. not that you're gonna come and beat me up after the show. I'll make it. I'll make it good love and roast. Okay, I'll so that's what roast we can you and weekend. show you love. Yes, like I make fun of you, but you know, maybe on stage I might give you something just to make up. I don't want to give my ass whoop in Kansas City. It, no, you, know, you don't I'm want not, that. I don't want to go. I don't want no Cat Williams. No, please. no. <laughs> I don't want to be getting choked by no third grader. Well, there will be no third graders tonight in the audience. No, it won't be. All, 21 and up. Or maybe I might have roasted their parents and they're going to be outside waiting for me. Like, oh, you man. Grandma told me what you did to her. I don't want you know seven-year-old kid choking me yeah, in Kansas City. Yeah, that's a bad City. situation. I just want some barbecue. Just some barbecue. You have to hit up Gates. Maybe Brother KT is going to slide through with the Gates platter, get yeah. you some Gates. Hook me up, when I suck out. This weekend is going down. It is going at the down. Improv. So, we, we talked about you roasting the other comedians. Mm-hmm. Now, let's talk about you just... Okay, so are these just random people on Instagram and Twitter? Random people. And they just want to... They just want to roast. They, what I've done, I've, I've opened up my DM to the whole world. So, my followers would DM me and just destroy me and I reply back destroy them and then I post it my god you know so it just it's an interaction with my fans it's, we just, it's, we so just have you ever up. come face to face though with someone that you've roasted on Instagram and by you know the way what? give people your Instagram and Twitter handle while we're talking about it that's they right go it's check it at out. Michael Blackson for those of you who went to a public school let me spell it for you <laughs> it's M-I-C-H-A-E-L B-L-A-C-K-S-O-N that's my handle for Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And all three are verified, so you know it's the right ones. Do you if have Snapchat? Um, I just got on Snapchat. My Snapchat is Mike Blackson. Mike, all right? M-I-K-E. M-I-K-E Blackson, and it comes up as the African booty scratcher. So you know it's the right one. Booty, well, booty, booty scratcher. scratcher. I don't know. That's what they called Did me in high school. Did someone give that to you? They, you? they roasted me. They called me African booty scratcher mm. when I came to school. They called me a lot of different names. Oh, so you've been you I've been roasted my whole nickname. life. I didn't know how dark skin I was so I came to America. Really? This guy told me every time he looks at me, he gets sleepy. They said the difference between me and midnight is 11.59. Oh, man. They told me when God said, let there be light, I was out of town. <laughs> well, you know, there's nothing wrong with being chocolate because I'm chocolate, too. Yes, you are, man. You I are very, uh, very sexy. Thank you. If we had a baby, a piece of smoke would come out. Me? <laughs> we have to make love with the lights on. You turn the lights on, you're like, where you at? No, where are you? Don't kill oh, me. Let's... Find me. Peaky boo, stop playing with me. Come out here. I'm ready. Where are you? <laughs> I'm the, Put the I, white gloves on right now and come and hug me. Please. I like to say that I'm this a special edition Brazilian chocolate because I'm uh, Brazilian. I'm half Brazilian. My mom's from Brazil. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, that's so. where all that came from. Yeah, you have to well, see my her. Dad, my dad, I'm black, but my mom is just Brazilian. My dad's black American. Well, I'm mixed too. My mother's black and my dad is black as hell. <laughs> Chocolate, but your your twin sons though they're they're kind of yeah like. mother, yeah my I don't know how I came up I in fact when I leave here I'm gonna take another DNA I take a DNA test every three days every three days? I don't know how they came you so have, like I thought you only had three kids you have others no no I say every three days what well, I be for the for the light skin kids the twins you saw the twins on the show yeah, I saw the twins they're light skin look at me. I don't care as dark as I am. If I have sex with a ghost, the baby should still be dark. Yeah, they I'm w- dark enough to keep everything dark. <laughs> the, yeah, so okay. I'm gonna take another DNA for them kids, them twin boys. All right, so watch out for the twin boys. Uh, in fact, I do random DNA testing while they're asleep. I just swipe their mouth and I take it to the um, lab, and hopefully one day we change and I get all my child support money back. Oh man! So are you and Georgia gonna have a baby anytime oh, soon? No, no. She has a nice little body. I don't wanna mess up her body. Well, okay. I, no, you know I'm what? done. Another I have enough kids. Con- another African prince to come? No, I'm good. I got enough prince. Enough kids. You need a little girl, though. Yeah, I, 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 I would say hi to them. <laughs> I have nieces. I keep waving. That way they, the good thing about the nieces is they come and they have to go afterwards. That's right. <laughs> you don't Listen, have to take care of them no, anymore. No, just leave. It's, it's 6 p.m. Your mother's on her way. And you made it sure that your son doesn't bring any grandkids in the not. house. I'm not ready. I'm not grandfather material. Look at me. I, do I look like I'm going to be a grandfather? You're going to be a fly grandpa. I'm Nothing good. Nothing wrong with that. No, there's, no, it's not good. No, not at all. Not Mikey. You better not.
I'll kick, I'll kick both of them out when I'm talking. Mikey. Jer- I mean, Mikey's my son, and then my nephew stays with me. He's Jeremiah. Jeremiah. And I have Nicholas and Noah, the twins. Nicholas and Noah. So will there be more shenanigans with them during the show? Oh, yes. Um, in fact... Um, How old are they? The twins are nine. Yeah. Nine? And then yeah. your older son is... He's 17. 17, okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, we did an episode. In fact, this week is a very good episode. You don't okay. want to miss it. I had like a, a some weird guest came to visit me. And oh, I saw, and he was naked out. In yeah, the he's pool. out in my pool with his balls out. So I don't you have know. a lot of friends just want to come over just and stop. hang out. Yeah, you know that's when you once you make it, everybody wants to come by your with place. With their hand out, hand out, everybody hands out. Can't do that. No, Go everybody, everybody everybody's broke. You can always give him a job too. I'm gonna tell you right now, if Donald Trump become president, I'm deporting myself. <laughs> I'm gonna go to immigration. Immigration, listen, my papers are not together. My green card is blue. Get me out of here. Get him out of here. This oh. guy wants to get rid of everybody. Mexicans, Muslims, Waffle House employees. Yeah, we can't do that. We can't do that. I don't know. He's he's weird. He, yeah, it is it is a weird situation, but a lot of material for you. A lot of material. So I just if he wins, it would be good for comedians. Yeah. We have just, yeah, we'll have a whole hour on Donald Trump. Because sometimes when he says stuff, I can't believe it's the coming things out, like, coming out of his mouth. mouth. Like, are you, what are you? Like, he tweeted Samuel L. Jackson one time, and he, because Samuel was saying that he played golf with him, and he's like, don't remember, your commercials aren't funny, next tweet. Like, it was it was just really, <laughs> what, like, our president's supposed to say that? Like, our president's supposed to, you know, be a, a oh, calm man. man the whole world words. is going to laugh at this country. They will. They will, but... Anybody could have been president this year. Anyone could have. Kanye. Kanye what? for president. Well, Amber Rose shut that down. <laughs> Kim never... is our first lady. Would you like that? No. no. I would never shake Amber Rose's hands again. No. Okay. We know what she did with them fingers. I'm not spe- Don't ever shake my hands, Emma Rose. She's could- the original booty scratcher. Yes, she is. <laughs> all right. Well, you can catch all this at the Improv this weekend. Tell them the shows again. Tell them when we'll be Two at the Improv. Two shows tonight, 8 p.m., 10.30 p.m. tomorrow, 8 p.m. and tomorrow, 7.30 and um, 10 o'clock, and Sunday, 7 p.m. Or you can go up. The you, show, or you could do or what? you could go to the Improv website. That's right. Go to the website at uh, www.improvkc.com. There we go, yeah. Or just call the club collect. <laughs> yeah, or you could do that too. I don't even know if they have collect phone calls anymore. Come to the show. Bring your flashlights. You will need it for me. There we go. My Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter is at Michael Blackson. My Snapchat is Mike Blackson, a.k.a. African booty scratcher. African booty scratcher. And no, Rainbow Rose did not scratch my booty. No, please. Let me get that out of the way right now, Manasaukas. <laughs> there we go. We are Magic 107.3.